I give the floor to the delegation of Sri Lanka. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, today we celebrate the 21st anniversary of the Durban Declaration and the program of action. As such, it is incumbent upon all of us to review the achievements made so far regarding the elimination of racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia, and related intolerance in their all forms and manifestations. My delegation strongly believes that this matter should remain an utmost priority for the international community. As set out in the historic and forward-looking Durban Declaration and the Plan of Action, it is the duty of all the nations to facilitate and ensure the quality in the fields of employment, health and environment towards total and meaningful elimination of racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia and related intolerance. In this context, the Durban Declaration should be seen as a sure platform, a beginning and not as an end, as it is a key to responding to the hopes and aspirations of those who continue to suffer discrimination across the globe. Sri Lanka reaffirms the ideal that all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. The fundamental rights chapter of Sri Lanka's constitution guarantees the non-discrimination of persons in Article 12.2, which states that no citizen shall be discriminated against on the grounds of race, religion, language, caste, sex, political opinion, place of birth, or any one of such grounds. We believe that all persons have the right and the potential to contribute constructively to the development of their societies. In this context, we have the view that any doctrine of racial superiority is scientifically false, morally condemnable, and socially unjust and dangerous. We condemn the theories which attempt to determine the existence of separate human races. Mr. Chair, Sri Lanka understands that the internet platforms and digital technologies are being used to advocate hatred to plan, fundraise, and circulate information about public events aimed at promoting racism, xenophobia, and related intolerance, such as rallies, demonstrations, and acts of violence. While being mindful of the fact that internet can play a vital role in promoting equality, inclusion, and non-discrimination as part of strengthening democracy and respect for human rights, we are deeply concerned on the manifestations of all forms of terrorism and violence through the online platforms. We strongly believe that the nations should come together and take comprehensive steps towards strengthening their national legislative frameworks to curb such incidents. Mr. Chair, the government of Sri Lanka has prioritized building trust and achieving reconciliation among communities. In keeping with Sri Lanka's societal, cultural, and historical norms, Regular dialogue continues to take place at various levels to ensure inter-ethnic harmony and understanding amongst all communities. In this connection, the government maintains a zero-tolerance policy on any act of religious hatred or intolerance and has taken measures to combat the same. The International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights Act of 2007 remains at the center of addressing the challenge of hate speech. In addressing the socioeconomic impact caused by the pandemic, the government's approach has been inclusive, non-discriminatory, and holistic, providing foremost importance to safeguarding the health and safety of not only of its own people, but also foreign nationals within its territory. Mr. Chair, my delegation would like to remind the salutary warning of Kofi Annan, who observed that the matters of internal concerns are best resolved by internal mechanisms. It is our considered view that China would be best equipped to address their internal issues for the common good of its people. Mr. Chair, it would appear that supremacist behavior will remain to be a fact of life that we will have to live with whilst pursuing our noble path to reimagining equality and eliminating racism, xenophobia, and discrimination. We are truly to address such issues and work together towards achieving the SDGs. We need to put aside the petty ethnicity associated with manipulative politics and look at what we as the international community can realistically achieve for the betterment of all of us. I thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much to the delegation of Sri Lanka.